Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Olani Imukaila Afonja, popularly known as Sonyeri, is a movie producer and an actor who has featured in over 200 movies and produced more than 10 movies. He rose to fame after his exciting role in the movie Iya Opako. Olani Imukaila Afonja was born in Oyo State as the first child of his parents. He was born on October 14, 1974. He clocked 45 years old in the year 2019. Olani had his former education at St. Michael Primary School at Okebo, Oyo State, and Doba Grammar School in Oyo Town, also in Oyo State, where he completed his secondary school education. Olani Afonja's acting career started in the year 1992 after joining a theater group introduced to him by a friend. This was after his secondary school education. He was responsible for carrying the group's costume, but after some years of not being paid well, he left the group to start a shoe cobbler business. Eventually, he left Oyo State to Lagos State in 1996 for greener pastures, but for a while, he was still unable to make ends meet. He eventually left the shoe cobbler business to focus fully on acting when he noticed that it was affecting his career and then he decided to face acting squarely. This Oyo indigen has won several movie fans to his side while portraying the role of a professional jester made popular by the character Sonyeri in movies. In the duration of 10 years, this actor successfully became one of the most sought-after jesters for Yoruba movie roles. Though the Okola America actor has a career spanning 23 years, the actor hit the limelight after playing a lead role with his body, Adekola Tijani, in the hit comedy flick Muniru Ati and Bali in the year 2007. He further became the toast of directors for playing the role of a fool when he starred in Opako, which featured Odunladi Adekola and Adekola Tijani as well. This actor opened up about his tribal marks and the effect it had on his career. Sorry is known for his noticeable tribal marks. In a chat with Saturday Beats, Sawyeri said even though his tribal marks has put a limit to the kind of roles that he plays in movies, it also helps him to carve a niche for himself in comic roles. He stated that he started appreciating his tribal marks when he became an actor and even though he may not be able to take up some roles, especially lover boy roles, and dramatic roles. However, God works in a mysterious way. His travel marks have brought in many comic roles and that has automatically given him an edge as an actor. Let's talk about his personal life. This comic actor is happily married to his wife Omolara Awawu Afonja and they are blessed with two children, Bolu Atife and Ola Sukomi Afonja, both boys. Soyeri and Omolara have been married for more than 12 years now. In an interview with Punch Newspapers in 2017, the actor reminisced on how tough life was in the beginning as a career man who is also married. Remember those times that they didn't have much and his wife stuck by him. He revealed that when his wife gave birth to their first child, he had just 3,500 naira with him. So it was quite tough. That is why he always says that there is nothing he cannot give his wife. And in his words, as of the time she married me, the only property I had was my travel mark. However, the story has changed for Sonyeri and his family. As mentioned earlier, he has featured in so many movies, including Awero, Eduara, Jennifer, Opako, Omokawa, Shekere, Koboko, Omoyameji, Mamadou Good, Sonyeri Oloka, and Area Boys, just to mention a few. Sonyeri and his wife Omolara have an enviable relationship. If you enjoy beautiful and touching love stories, which make you believe that true feelings exist, regardless of money and fame, then you like the story of this comedian and his wife. When the young Olani Afonja came from Oyo State and decided to start his career in the year 1992, he did not think that his life would change in just a short while. He moved to Lagos State and started acting in the Yoruba movies, but he did not think much yet about the personal aspect of his life. Finding someone extraordinary was also a hard task. All this changed when he met a beautiful woman whose name is Awawu Omolara, the lady who later became Olani Afonja's wife. He first met his wife in the year 2004. On that fateful day, he was attending the screening of his movie, Okwa and Me, which took place at the National Theatre in Igomu, Lagos State. On that day, Omolara came there with a friend hoping to just have a good time. So here we then noticed this beautiful lady and a friend from a far distance and came up to them. He decided to ask Omolara's friend to tell her that he liked her. However, his future wife's friend told him that it would be better if he was the one who actually approached her and told her himself. At first, Omolar did not take Sonia very seriously when he told her that he wanted to get to know her better. She thought that 
you only wanted to have a number. And she had a perception that Sonia would believe that because he just shot a movie. So that would automatically make him able to get any girl he likes. So she walked away from him that day. However, the stars aligned for them to meet again. It was nearly a month later after their first meeting at the theater. And this time, Sonia did not waste any time. He finally persuaded Omolara to give him a number. Still, she was still not easy for him to get. It took a while before he finally convinced her to give him a chance and started dating him. Since then, Sonia and Omolara have been through a lot together. Back when the first became a couple, the comedian was not a rich man, as mentioned earlier. And at one point, he was almost broke. But his wife managed to stick by his side, regardless of his financial status. And this is something that he always appreciates. When the press asked him what the most memorable thing about his wife was, he said that it was her staying with him without paying attention to his financial status and belongings. So he also confessed that he felt insecure because it seemed to him like he cannot give anything to his wife and child. At first, when they first got married, therefore, this famous comedian came up with a piece of advice to young couples. He advised that they should not view their prospective spouse in perspective of world alone. They should rather focus on the person's potential and determination. He said that there are a lot of wealthy people who later became poor. And on the other hand, there are plenty of poor people who worked hard and eventually became rich. These are the ones who are worth all the risk. Also, Sonia and his wife were unable to celebrate their wedding anniversary until after six years. Since they got married, the couple never left each other's side and they are now financially stable and their marriage is also going strong. Sonia and his wife are incredibly grateful to have their little family and he spends time with his children whenever he can. As with almost every famous family, there were some problems in the marriage of Sonia and his wife according to the media. Nobody knows for sure what happened. However, the talented actor and his wife, Omolara, resolved whatever was wrong between them and their bond became stronger. Sonia even bought a second half, a Honda car and took a photo of her driving it. In the picture, she looked really happy in her new vehicle. Sonia, however, noted that no relationship is perfect. In his words, I am not the type of celebrity that likes to show off or live above my means. But I tried my best to make my wife and children happy. My wife and I may appear like a perfect couple. But there is no perfect marriage because we are human beings. Anytime we quarrel and she gets angry, as a comedian, I try to use my jokes to calm her down. It works for me because my jokes actually make her laugh. I love my wife very much because she has brought the peace of mind and joy to my life. Every woman wants to be appreciated. So I take it upon myself to hype my wife all the time, he said. Awards and nominations. This star has banked a lot of awards due to his comic and exceptional roles in the Nigerian movie industry. Some of his awards include City People Award for the Best Movie of the Year 2018, City People Award for Comic Actor of the Year 2015 and 2017, and City People Award for Best Movie Producer of the Year 2015. Sonia and Stardom. It's one thing to be at the top of whatever you're doing, but another thing that's more important is how you're going to sustain it. According to this man, coping with stardom is not an easy thing, but what he always asks from God is wisdom. He says he can't just talk anyhow in public because a lot of people would want to hear what he wants to say. And he can't just eat anyhow in public or even dress anyhow in public. Everything has changed with stardom. He also added that at times you won't know what would either offend those that admire you or your colleagues. So he has humility and God first in everything that he does. This actor also shared that people used to make a jest of him as a kid and he used to feel bad, especially as he was the only one with tribal marks among his siblings. However, he was never angry with his parents for giving him the tribal marks. Right now, no one can mock him again because he's now comfortable with them and he has made a fortune with them, he said. We are coming to the end of this episode on Olani Yi Afonja Mukaila Sonyeri. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let's one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.